Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. So as you can tell, I'm not in London. <laughs> I am in Dubai. I've been here for the past few days, though I have not vlogged much from these past three, four days that I've been here just because it's been super busy and I just wanted to kind of enjoy, yeah, enjoy my time without really focusing on vlogging too much. I had like just the most amazing time. Basically, I flew out here for an event with the Inner Circle. The Inner Circle is kind of like the small knit group of people or like within my business mentorship um, essentially. So so we all kind of bounce ideas off each other. We are essentially at that phase in our businesses where we're trying to like really scale them. Um, so we're all online coaches and we've known each other for a few months now and basically our business mentor Adam, he hosts these meetups in Dubai twice a year and this is the first one I've been able to attend. We did a yacht party on the Friday which was so much fun. Say hi! And then on Saturday, we had like a small one-to-one -one type of meeting with our business mentor. And then Saturday evening, we went out. And then on Sunday, we did like a full day of mentoring. So it was like we were just at this hotel in a conference room. We learned so many new things, which was great. We bounced some ideas off of each other. Sunday night, we went out as well. Then yesterday was Monday and I had like literally like five hours of back-to-back -back calls and so much work to catch up on. So today's kind of the first day. It was a bit slower and I can just kind of pick up the camera and um, and hang out with you guys so yeah I'm in Dubai I'm gonna be here till Saturday so I'm staying here for a total of, like eight days which is nice to just be settled down in one place for quite a bit so um, this morning has been quite chill you know just had my usual coffee um, had my oats my pre-workout oats I'm about to go to the gym now to train I sent to Dylan my check-in this morning you guys will notice I'll show you a comparison basically I switched up my front pose after last week's session with Nay so I'll put a photo up here of my old front pose and then my new front pose right here I uh, hope you guys can tell the difference. Let me know in a comment down below what difference you can notice between my two front poses here. Um, essentially, in terms of how I'm progressing with prep, after last week's adjustment where my cardio was bumped up and my food was dropped, I have not really lost any weight. I think this is due to the fact that I've been traveling and I have not had a proper bowel movement in a few days. I know this might be a bit TMI, but it's part of the process. I've even told Dylan about it, so um, we'll see what he says. I'll let you guys know what he says. I'll obviously film kind of my reaction to his feedback as usual. So yeah, I'm about to go to uh, Train SF Beach. So that's kind of like the gym that's like next to a beach club. So I'm gonna train and I'm gonna chill. I'm bringing my post workout with me, my intro workout with me. Obviously being on prep here, like I'm in an Airbnb, I've got a kitchen, I can get groceries and make my own food. So I've been obviously hitting my macros to the T every single day. Like it's not even a question for me, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, and obviously appetite is really not an issue at all. Like I'm not hungry, like I can eat, but I'm not hungry at all. And the fact that like it's so hot out here as well is making me not really want to eat that much food. So prep is going really well. I'm not really stressed out that my weight isn't coming down because I'm seeing physical changes and I'm just enjoying the process so far and really just taking advantage of the fact that my food is still quite high, my training is still going very well. So yeah, now that's enough of me rambling. I'm going to just finish packing up my things and then I'm going to get a taxi to train beach and I'll catch you guys there.
right guys, so it is a few hours later. You guys would have just seen my session at Train Beach. That gym, I didn't like it very much. Like I think it's very overrated. People hype it up all the time. It's very small, the equipment. It's Atlantis equipment and I've heard a lot of good things about Atlantis equipment. I didn't actually really like it that much. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just didn't really, the workout was a bit, I don't know, I had to fiddle around a lot because I wanted to do barbell hip thrusts because some girl was using the Nautilus machine and then I tried to set up for barbell and then it didn't work and then I had to go back to Nautilus when this girl finished with the machine then I don't like the Nautilus glute, glute drive at all I didn't feel it in my glutes at all which was really annoying there was like no air con like I was literally sweating my tits off I think I sweat out like two liters of water I'm not even joking but I got the workout done <laughs> needless to say I got it done despite the fact that people were rude to me like there was quite a few people that were just pretty rude I think everyone that goes to Trade Beach I mean, not everyone, I'm not gonna generalize, but like today, my experience was a lot of the people who were there were quite stuck up and not very nice, um, so I was like, okay. And then after legs, um, I knew that some people from the inner circle were gonna be at Train Beach, so I just changed my bikini and then I luckily bumped into uh, some people that I knew, so we hung out and then came back to the Airbnb and I've been just sat at my computer this whole day doing a bunch of work. I uh, had quite a few consultation calls, bringing on some new starters onto the team. By the way, we still have spaces for April and for May if you would like to work with us. I'll leave a link to apply down below and I'm also personally taking on clients for bikini pro coaching so if you want to compete in bikini maybe it's your first time you're looking for a coach you can apply via the link down below in the description as well so yeah and then I am about to go out now however before I go out and before I tell you guys where I'm going Dylan has replied so I haven't opened his email yet so I'm gonna show you guys like the live reaction okay he's bumped down my carbs by 20 grams let's see Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna watch the video now and we'll watch it together. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. Week four, what it do, girl. So we're PMSing. I'm certain that that is exactly why you're having some digestive issues and that weight's kind of maintaining itself. So, um, you know, just make sure that we're, we got our water and check out your table gets from about 170 ounces plus uh, fluid a day. So, you know, if you're not towards 200 ounces, why we're PMSing, we should help with the digestive issues. Um, I don't know if you guys have Chasberry around you, but um, if you do, check into that uh, Chasberry or Vitex Berry. This is what I've been recommending. A lot of our girls that are having um, you know, issues with digestion around menstruation, the research is phenomenal and anecdotally, a lot of our girls are just saying it's so it's fucking magic and a pill around your cycle. So look into Chasberry. If you can get a hold of some, let me know. Love the new front pose. I think we should go ahead and stick with this just because you know, having that, ain't that toe slightly angled out more towards the judge just really does complement your <clears throat> leg and your balance that much more. So very happy with this. I'm sure you're going to be happy to see where we're going to go ahead and keep this progress going. I'm going to hit you with another carb drop, putting it at 255. So yeah, by the time you get this, if you want to go ahead and implement these changes today, feel free to do that. Enjoy your time in Dubai. Super jealous. Enjoy that time over there. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later, girl. Okay, so it's currently 8 p.m. I don't know if I can cut 20 grams of carbs from today. No, I can't. If I remove my grapes... Oh, I can! Oh my god! I was planning on eating grapes. I didn't eat them yet. And if I remove the grapes, that... Okay, that works. Sick. Sorry, guys. I just got really excited because I'm very, like... I want to be perfect. I want to the plan now. So, um... Yeah, I'm just not gonna eat any fruit today. <laughs> I'm just going to, because I just made my oats for later as well. Anyways, yeah, so he's br he's bringing my carbs down by 20 grams. I'm so fucking ready to just push. Like, I want to get lean already. <laughs> so every time he comes at me with a food drop or a cardio bump, I'm like always really happy about it. So yeah, that's the update. He likes my new front pose, which is sick. I'm glad he does. So I'm going to go and meet up with two girls from high school. Yeah, I haven't seen them in like years and it's gonna be nice to just chill and catch up. So uh, because one of the girls, she's fasting, we can only meet like after I've thought at like 8.30. It's 8.10 now. So I have to order my uh, cab and go. So I'm gonna go chill with them. I'm not gonna vlog tonight, obviously. I might vlog a few bits these next few days. I'm just here working, to be honest with you guys. So a lot of the stuff I'm doing is just work. So if anything exciting or fun happens, I will vlog it for you. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next clip. And the world's shittiest vlogger award goes to 
this girl right here. Guys, so I'm obviously back in the UK. You can tell from my background, I'm back in my flat. I sucked at vlogging when I was in Dubai. I did film a couple of clips, which I'm gonna overlay as I talk through things right now. So on the Wednesday that I was in Dubai, I trained upper body with my clients. Um, shout out to Nermin and to Nadia for doing the upper body workout with me. And then we were just all at Benus that evening. And basically that night I had to wait until 8.30 p.m. to train because all the girls were fasting. Like they have to break their fast at around like 6.30ish and then train about 8, 8.30. So we did that and I've never actually well, no, I have, but it's been a while since I've uploaded a like upper body training montage. So I'm going to insert the clips of that workout right now. so much fun it was great to work out in the evening it was very different and then the rest of dubai was just a lot of you know doing work on my computer nothing too crazy chilling in my airbnb in the balcony um there was a pool downstairs so i went down to the pool every day to catch some sun hence the bit of a tan that i have going on if you guys can tell uh on camera doesn't show as much but dubai was so nice and it really just kind of confirmed to me that that is where i want to live and that is where i'm going to be moving hopefully around november-ish time i had such a good time with all the inner circle coaches that first weekend is when we spent the most time together um, which was great and then hung out with you know a couple people from the inner circle and just made some really awesome new friends obviously prepping in dubai like wasn't that hard because i had a kitchen i could order groceries whenever i needed to so hitting my macros hitting my steps my cardio my training there was no issues at all what i will say is i find that whenever i travel my digestion always tends to be messed up i was pmsing a lot that week my weight wasn't budging much so when i checked in with dylan last week basically he did cut my carbs down and it's fine like i'm not really hungry still but you know a lot of people tend to when they don't see their weight come down they get very worried and scared and stressed out but like what's the point because if you're doing if you're doing everything you need to be doing for taking all the boxes then why stress out over the outcome because you don't have direct control over the outcome you've got direct control over the boxes you have to tick on a day-to-day -day basis to get you close to that outcome however there's so many other variables that will impact the outcome that you have no control over right so for me i've been since the start of this prep has been very slow progress wise i have not been upset or stressed out by my weight going up once at all just because i know that every day i've stuck to my macros to the t zeroed out i've hit my steps every single day done my cardio done my training i'm practicing my posing so i feel very at peace with the entire process and i'm really enjoying it and i trust my coach fully and i know that he's gonna push me when the time comes so 
yeah basically prepping in dubai was difficult just because my digestion was so off and it was also during my pms week so i constantly felt bloated my weight wasn't coming down and i just kind of you know stuck it through and it was fine so yeah um dubai was honestly just so much fun and it really reminded me that like i need to start being a bit more social and going out more like i actually had to put myself kind of outside of my comfort zone to make friends in the inner circle you know a couple of people in there that i didn't really used to talk to at all and i was a bit kind of apprehensive of like being hey let's hang out and i actually did that and had a great time and i was like wow like just by being a bit more open to meeting people i can actually meet great people make great connections and yeah because i've always i always joke around where i'm like oh, i have no friends or like i hate people and i'm not a people person naturally like when i'm at the gym for example i'm not there to socialize i'm there to train so i've got my headphones in and i just train i'm never going to be that person that goes up to people randomly to just start a conversation that's not who i am but i realize that you know when i'm kind of networking with people who are in the same space as me in the same kind of like business realm thing as me it can actually really help me just grow and learn and yeah so that's kind of the main takeaway i have from like that trip to dubai it's been great sorry guys that this vlog was a bit underwhelming i did try and film as much as i could but i was also just soaking in that time i spent there and also was just pretty productive when i was away to be honest with you and i find that being around other like-minded individuals for you know a good week networking speaking to them kind of um bouncing ideas off each other since i've been back these past couple of days i've been pretty good at getting things done and i've been i'm not gonna lie being back in the uk's a bit not depressing i don't like using that word but a bit more like <sighs> I know that my time here is going to come to an end very soon, I think. It's kind of like a chapter that's ending and I just can't wait to obviously start a new life and move to Dubai and stuff. The one thing I'm pretty scared about though is I'm going to have to learn how to drive. I don't have a driver's license, guys. I've never been behind the wheel. So that's the one thing I have to learn how to do when I move to Dubai is learn how to drive. But that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, if you're still watching till the end, thank you. It means so much to me that you actually care enough to watch. Please don't forget to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. And do subscribe if you never want to miss another upload. Um, you guys can tell I've been very, very um, consistent. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!